Well, g'day and welcome to Older is Optional. We're doing the recipes today. We're doing five fish recipes that you must know. Uh, they're fairly basic, but really good value uh, fish recipes that I'm sure you'll really enjoy. And they're five recipes that you should know. We want to do outdoor activities that restore your soul. Life's pretty hard these days. We're looking for things to do to restore our soul. And that's what we want to look at. And part of that is we really enjoy our fishing. And today we've got fish over there that we brought back. You can see them in other videos. And we want to quickly bang through five fish recipes that you must know and that anybody can do. From feral fish right through to fish on a fire. We're going to go through those right now. And Leanne's over there preparing and I'm over here gas bag. Welcome to five recipes you must know. This is one of our um, easy peasy recipes. Uh, easy to prepare ahead and then eat on the go. Um, it's our chick uh, this is an easy on the go one. It's our fish skewers. So what we've done is we've just chopped up one of our catches into little uh, bite-sized pieces and um, cut up a few of our leftover veggies. So we've got um, capsicum, zucchini, red onion. Um, oh, found some halloumi in the fridge as well. So and some little cherry tomatoes. So we'll just whack them all on a couple of little um, couple of little sticks, uh, skewers, like so. So whatever you've got left over in the uh, fridge, it's so easy to prepare this. So grab some more sticks. Some of them don't want to... Red onion is amazing on the barbie, so we're putting that through. Red onion is also amazing with fish, so we'll put that in there. and um, keep threading up your Tetris with whatever you have. I'm a bit, a bit OCD, so I like to uh, make sure that mine all match each other as they go up the totem pole. So when I lay them on the plate, they just look all awesome together. Also a great activity if um, you've got kids uh, that they can you can pre-prepare it and they can thread all your um, ingredients on and have their own meal on a stick. Olive oil and a few herbs and spices and I'll just put that a little a tiny bit of that on the um, skewers just to add a little bit of flavour. heated up the plate so let's whack them on. Oh, hear the sizzle. Just a little bit of halloumi because you can't waste halloumi. Oh that looks amazing. Oh you can smell the um, garlic and herbs sizzling away there. I'll just move them in a little. I don't want to crowd them too much, but we want to make sure we're making the most of the heat. Fish doesn't need a lot of um, time cooking, but it, you need to cook it right. Still there. I'm here with Leanne with my favourite shirt, and I love this shirt because I like it and Leanne hates it, therefore I wear it. If you're a man and you understand, give us a like in the comments or give us a comment. What shirt do you wear that your wife doesn't like? So we've had these on the cooker for about 10 minutes. It's um, the fish is starting to, we've flipped it a few times and the fish is starting to separate. And if I try and um, move it on the plate, it's, it will um, fall off a little bit. So that means the fish is cooked through. So it's nice and white um, and it looks flaky. So the fish we've used today is uh, finger mark, which is an awesome fish for um, anything small like this. The white meat is uh, very, um, very smooth and easy to use for skewers and that doesn't break up too small. So we're using uh, finger mark today and look at this, these are amazing little skewers. Halloumi's gone nice and brown, tomatoes, mushrooms, um, capsicum. You can cook them a little bit longer if you want. Um, if you want your vegetables uh, more like soft or something, but the fish is just perfect today. Take that shirt away. 
so the fish is just perfect today um, vegetables uh, just al dente and we're ready to eat so we just put it on a little plate make sure the halloumi doesn't stay on the barbecue what are you doing so what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of lemon on it and um, ready to serve on our list of five top fish recipes that you should know easy fish recipes that anyone can do we're going to use a large now nanagai um, we've chopped it into um, bite-sized pieces once again so what we're going to do a savachi is a um, it's when you cook in, in citrus um, or cook in lemon juice or vinegar or anything that has got that acidic stuff. So what we've done, we've just squeezed a few lemons. So what we'll do is we'll uh, put our fish into the lemon juice, make sure it's fully coated. Doesn't have to be a lot of lemon juice because we'll um, be draining it um, in a little bit. So once you've um, got all of your fish in there, uh, make sure it's fully coated. And then you need to just put it in a cool place for just uh, a little while, not too long, just to see um, it'll start to change colour, just go a little bit white, as in like it's cooking. Put it in a cool place, cover it if you can. And, um, and then while you've got some spare time while that's cooling down, cut up some vegetables. So what we've got is some shallots, some cherry tomatoes and some capsicum. We've chopped all that up. Once it's all cooked, then we'll come back and, um, and add the other special ingredients. So we'll put all of this aside in a cool place for the moment and come back to it a little bit later once it's cooled. Okay, so we're back to the ceviche. Um, we've left it in a cool spot for oh, probably half an hour or so. And you can see that the uh, lemon juice has cooked it, um, the, the meat, so it's gone a little bit uh, white. So now what we want to do is we want to drain off a bit of most of the lemon juice. Give it a little squeeze, get rid of as much lemon juice as possible. We only use one and a half lemons, so we're just, um, I'm just trying to get a fair bit of it off. Oop. Then we um, mix it in with our uh, vegetables. So we've got shallots, uh, tomato, capsicum, nice bit of colour. And then uh, some people can eat it like this and they say it's a little bit like a, a salsa, a lemon salsa, but our preference is to mix it in with some coconut cream. Whoop. Yep, coconut cream's good. So we've given it a little shake, stir it in, and then we have a creamy ceviche, just cover it all. Um, you can have as little or as much coconut cream, as little or as much um, vegetables as you like. We'll add some salt and pepper for taste. Now obviously, the, uh, you can, um, this is a type of fish recipe that you can have in the fridge because it's marinated. You could probably have it in the fridge for two or three days and uh, serve it um, at a barbecue, as a side salad or as an entree um, or just have it as a main meal, a cold main meal on a hot summer day. So that um, is all done. That's our ceviche. Uh, another great recipe in five easy, easy recipes to share with the family. Um, so easy, I can do it. I've, I've never been a fish cooking type of person. But another easy one is uh, just to put it on, in some alfoil on the barbecue. So what I've done here together is added some um, olive oil, added some garlic and some mixed herbs. Mixed it up all together with some lemon juice. Just a little bit of lemon juice. I think there's about oh, one and a half lemons in there. So with a bit of lemon juice and add it onto your fish. You don't have to drown it, just, to, just enough for flavor. The olive oil will stop it from sticking. Once you've done that, put a few pieces of lemon over the flesh just as much as you'd like or don't like. A few pieces of onion or spring onion or whatever you have. Once again, 
available to you. Then just wrap it up a little bit. So you want to wrap it so that it doesn't leak like a little boat. Um, the barbecue is getting quite hot so I'm going to put another lot of alfoil underneath so I don't fry it before it's cooked. So just slide this on. Barbecue's nice and hot. So we've used some stripey for this, some Spanish flag or stripey. Just whap it on the barbecue and come back in 10 minutes and you'll have a nice piece of um, fish for lunch. Well, we're now doing our five fish recipes that you must know. And Leanne has finally come to a custom that she likes my shirt. She doesn't like my shirt. She loves my shirt. In fact, I think this is the only shirt that I wear that she wants me to take it off. So, uh, fourth recipe we are looking at today is, is battered fish, my world famous battered fish. And we're going to do that now in this area. You only need two ingredients. One is some self-raising flour, a little bit of self-raising flour, and then soda water. Must be soda water, not just plain water, soda water. The bubbles make it uh, airy, very. So we just mix those two together, get a whisker, and get your whisk going. I'm just got to watch out, Leanne's got hers going there on the barbecue. So we just whisk it away. So we're whisking away, and what you can do with this, which is really handy, is if it's too sloppy, just put a bit of um, uh, self raising flour in, and if it's too tight, just put some water in, and it, uh, just keep doing that to get a mixture that you like. The texture doesn't have to be perfect, it's what you like. It's a bit, bit uh, light at the moment, so I put a little bit of flour in. If I put too much flour in, I can just put in some um, more water. Now, while that's happening, I'm just going to... Uh, while that's happening, I'm just going to heat up my oil. It takes a while, and you want hot oil for this. Really important to have hot oil. So I'll put our oil in. Don't be shy. Heaps of oil. It's a bit of an angle, but that's all right. That's camping, isn't it? Okay, so we've got our batter going here. The batter's looking pretty good. Um, you don't have to, but I, you can just put a bit of salt and a bit of, a bit of pepper in there if you want to. Mix it around. Okay, just might make that just a little bit stickier. Just a little bit. I've got our friends up there who we've just met today and I've been feeding them. They, you know, I'll introduce you to them in a moment. Okay, so we've got that pretty right. Get our um, tongs, which I install. And we just uh, put our fish in there. Mix our fish around in there. In the batter and once ready we just pull that in we need that to be a bit hotter now the fish we're using for this is a little bit of cod but it's the cod we caught on our trip to King Ash Bay so if you haven't watched those videos make sure you watch them and you'll see us catching a buck load of cod and that's some of this cod that we're now making for our fosh fosh on chops okay so we're just gonna let that We've got a little bit more here Chewing through our fish today because we got five lots. Leanne looks like she wants to tell me something. She wants to boss me around. Yes, Leanne? Don't overfill the pan. Don't overfill the pan. What? Don't add any more in. Why? Well, it's cooked, <sighs> Give me a comment if your wife tells you how to cook too. She loves me. Our marriage, coming in on 30 years, and it's made of love and toleration. I love her and she tolerates me. So now, we just gotta let that cook. Got my um, tongs here. I have made a little bit of a mess, Leanne, which is not unusual for my cooking prowess to make a mess. Yes, it's starting to heat up nicely there. This won't take too much longer and it will be ready. Well, Leanne's walked away to play and I've gotta take over her cooking duties. So here we go, here's her fish here. Um, and uh, we'll get a close in picture with the other camera, Leanne. And uh, it's looking very, very good. I'm about to load up a plate to take it up to our new friends that I've been stalking with all this fish, but they seem to be enjoying it. There doesn't seem to be too many concerns. So uh, look at that. That looks really good, Leanne, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. 
Okay, so we're doing our five recipes you must know with fish. I'm stalking our neighbours, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but they're our test test crash dummies and they've been in all the fish. What did you think of the skewers? Amazing. Delicious? Delicious. Amazing. Yes. All right. We well, this one, it. we had some over that was very good. Okay. This one is roasted fish in um, Leanne's uh, syrups and what do you call it? Sauces. Okay. Um, roasted in the alfoil yeah. of the barbecue. And next is some savachi, and then we've got some battered fish coming shortly. Oh so don't fill up. So, Ooh. what did you think of the skewers? Amazing. Lovely, right. beautiful. You have okay. to try yes. it. Yes. yes, everyone, you have to try it. You will. All right. <laughs> well, you enjoy that, and I'll okay. be back shortly. Okay. okay, so the battered fish is going. It's going very well. It's golden brown. Look how golden brown that is. That is sensational. So, uh, I've got two test dummies up there. They'll have some in a moment some people over there and we might see if they'd like some too but that's looking pretty good Leanne in fact I'd have to say that's as good as I've ever made it so that's one of the that was the fourth one we've only got one to go and uh, hope you're enjoying this don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like even if it's just for Leanne I know you, don't, you don't have to like me but like Leanne and subscribe for more of Leanne and if we get 50,000 likes we'll do a naughty shot no we're just joking we're not really okay okay so finished all this don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and don't forget to leave us a comment which one do you like best give us a comment which of the five recipes do you like the best and which one are you gonna try now okay in fact the first person to comment give us a comment I'll tell you where I bought this shirt from Leanna probably send it to you okay so this is all good to go for our grass for our dummies over there to trial and we'll get into the next one so we're just gonna just gonna turn the fish over. It hasn't been in here very long, but it's starting to burn a little bit. So we'll just um, turn him over, get the ash off him. Um, yeah, that's crisping up nicely. The skin and the scales is like a natural alfoil that protects the fish and the flesh inside. So once we've finished, all we do is just peel back that skin and it'll be just a beautiful um, fish inside there, stewed in its own juices. It's a very, very simple way an effective way of uh, cooking the fish. I wonder if I can trick Leanne into eating the eyeball. I don't think I'm a high chance, but you never know. The last of our uh, five easy ways, quick tips to cook fish is uh, just bung it straight on the fire, on the hot coals, and let it cook. So here we, we've had it on the fire for a little while. This can be the, our evening meal. We'll just peel the skin off. Oh, look at that. Oh, smell that. It smells like, um, like a campfire meal. Awesome. Ideal for campfires, actually. Just whack it on the top. And then you pick off the um, fresh meat. Look at that coming off. Oh, amazing. Look at this. Just have to be careful, there's one or two bones in there. I'll just pull them out. Put them over here. Look at this. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like us, and uh, join us on our Older is Optional journey to grow stronger and live longer.